Hey, I'm Cindy Harder, and this is The Beat Presents. Today we'll be sitting with Mara Dominowski, who's about to release her new album, Stop On By. Let's check it out. We're here with Mara Ann Dominowski, and that was Stop On By. Thanks for coming, Mara. Thank you so much for having me. So you just, uh, you're just about to release your first full-length album. Yes, uh, yes. Also called Stop St On By. Yes, the album is called Stop On By, and it should be all finished and ready by May or June. Great. Uh, and you you recently, you did a Kickstarter for the album to, to raise some money for yes, the album. Yes, yes. It was very successful. I it was asking for $2,000, which I was not expecting to make, and we ended up making over 3000 Wow. So I was very lucky. I didn't, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, that's and great. What are you what are you going to put it towards? Um the Kickstarter money is going to go towards CD replication, reproduction, mixing, mastering and um yeah, it's photos. Great. Yeah. So the album it's a country album. Yes. It uh, is a and of course album. you're from Staten Island. Right. So how did uh what 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 makes you want to make country music? Um well 
my whole family is from Wisconsin, and my mother comes from a dairy farm in Mosini, a um, town of 4,000 people. It's, it's so small, and um, my uncle is in charge of the farm now. It used to be my grandparents, but now mm. my uncle is in charge. And when I was a kid, you know, we'd go back two or three times a year. We'd stay for a really long time, um, and so I... I, I was like a city kid, kind of, but also a farm kid. Mm -hmm. I grew up kind of helping my uncle out with the chores. I'd bale hay, ride four wheelers around, you know, and, you know, they, my mom grew up listening to Patsy Cline and Hank Williams and Kenny yeah. Rogers and whatnot. And so that's what I grew up with. I, you know, I can't help from writing yeah. it. Cool. It's I, not even a choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, um, I, what I like about your music is you also have kind of a, a different flair to it, you know, with mm -hmm. the, with the brass, especially mm -hmm. almost like a, um, like a Dixieland yeah. or like Southern yeah. Gospel kind of, wh where does that come from? Well, Dixieland is another, it's like a subgenre of country yeah, music. Yeah. So, you know, listening to one genre, you listen to all the other ones as well and you just incorporate them. Yeah. It's, it's, Dixieland's a lot of fun. Yeah. How many other people in the studio comp major here do country? Like, are you one of the few? Yeah, there aren't many people that do country music, not... I think I'm the only one you that Dana. Dana. Dana right. didn't. Yeah, I, I'm really focused on country. Dana's yeah. written some super right. poppy music as well, but how she's a great country singer. Of, how is it being kind of one of the only couple of people doing country here? I don't mind. There's not a lot of competition <laughs> with country music, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. At least here. At least here. At least here. Right. There is yeah huge competition. You go somewhere else, but right. um, awesome. yeah, and and your style is it's. Not necessarily like very contemporary mm -hmm. modern country. I mean, you don't sound like Carrie Underwood. No, no, uh, we, know, they the, like to go old school. Right, the you know you're like you mentioned Patsy Cline, Hank yeah. Williams, like that kind of stuff. So yeah. I mean, do you are you conscious of that when you're writing it that you're yeah, decidedly absolutely. doing something kind of different? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, it's not really me to do like the Taylor Swift mm -hmm. and Carrie Underwood stuff as much as I love them. You know, it, they're just not my biggest influences. Yeah.
is gone Hallelujah, the rain is gone I can finally see how you've done me wrong Hallelujah, you're finally gone I'm singing Hallelujah, you're finally gone some of the modern influences that you have today in the country music scene um my biggest influence would be Alison Krauss she's mm -hmm. just her voice is perfect she's beautiful she's so talented she's a fiddle player originally mm -hmm. um she's fantastic and of course there's Gillian Welch and Emmy Lou Harris who are also my yeah, biggest she's influences. still kicking around yeah she is right? she just came out with a new album which is fantastic everyone should listen to it um she's she's really really great uh, I mean speaking of influences what you know, was there a specific moment that you started writing country music? Or, like, what, what really pushed you to start writing um, country music? Well, I went to a performing arts high school. I went mm -hmm. to LaGuardia High School in New York City, and they had a songwriting class there. And so I thought it sounded interesting. So I auditioned. I wrote some god-awful song, you know, and I got in, and I was able to take the class. And all the music that I would write, everybody just said that you have to be a country singer. You sound, it sounds like you're writing country music. And of course I was not all about that. I wanted to write R and B or some, and you know, not yeah. country. And I would kind of try to go like, get away from that, you know, you know, back when I was younger, but it just, everyone kept saying, you sound like a country singer. You should just stick with country. And I, I grew to love it. Do you ever go back and kind of try and write things that aren't country now? I, I haven't. I haven't recently, but it's I, I should. I should. Yeah. I have written things that aren't country yeah. before. but. And then um, uh, you're going to play a cover for us today, yes. right? Uh, what, what are you going to play for us? Um, the song is one of my favorite songs ever. It's called I Am Weary, Let Me Rest by Pete Roberts. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was performed by the Cox family for the film "Oh Brother, Where Art Thou?" Right. And um, it's a beautiful song. Yeah. What I mean, what what draws you to that specifically? Why do you want to play that today? It sounds like a traditional lullaby hymn. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Great. Awesome. And of course, you know, you get Cox family and Allison Krauss singing on it. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't compare it. I wish. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's check it out. Here's "I Am Weary, Let Me Rest" by Pete Roberts. One, two, three, four.
So tell us a little bit more about where you get your lyrical inspiration. I kind of just write how I speak. You know, it's honest. It just nat it's natural. Whatever comes through my mind, that's how I'll write it out. You know, there's no bullshit, really. How long would you say it generally takes to t write a whole song? It really all depends, you know, it, how how it's moving. You know, it could take f a day, you know, to months. I've worked on songs for months. Like, I, I've worked on them. I've put them away. I've come back. I've put them back away. You know, it... Is it, there a specific song on this album that, that's oh, like that? Oh, um... Let's see. I'd have to think of all the songs. Um, well, like the song Lovin' Tonight, Lovin' Tonight will be on the album. It's I wrote that when I was in high school, mm -hmm. and, you know, I've definitely reworked that one. That's been, you know, we just did a brand new arrangement yeah. for the album. You know, it's it's changed so much. It, yeah. Years. So. Cool. Awesome. And so uh, you're, you're about to graduate. Yes, I am. Go into the real world yeah. with your first album. Yeah. What are you What are you hoping to do? What are your immediate plans? I'm moving to Nashville once oh, I graduate. Great. I'm going down there, um, getting the music scene in Nashville, shop the album around. Well, great. We, we can't wait to hear the full thank album you. and, and see you. what happens. So thank you for, for coming on the show. Absolutely. Stopping on by. <laughs> you're welcome, of course. <laughs> and uh, we hope to catch up with you soon. Yeah, absolutely. Have me back anytime. All right, well, let's hear one more by Mara Ann. This is called Save My Sorrows. This is serious, guys. I hear the more I want to make my troubles disappear and the more I think well the more I drink the more I want to get away from Drink the more I 